Hey y'all, it's Steve, Hobo with Wood. Been a while since I made a video. Uh, I'm technically down with the X tool again, believe it or not. Uh, I have now gone through four cracked dust lenses and now I have cracked the actual lens on the laser module itself. But that's not what this video is about. Uh, I will be doing my four-month review on the X-Tool, so you'll want to watch for that uh, to be dropped here uh, very soon. But today, let's talk about designing and light burn. Um, and taking a very simple design that you already have in your art library or that you have used frequently, and uh, it's a simple uh, line art or a simple SVG that we're going to try to take and turn it into a layered project using one design uh, and add some character character to a relatively simple piece of artwork. So uh, I've, I've worked on a, a, a pattern and a design and it turned out pretty nice and thought I'd share this these tips with you. So let's jump in here to Lightburn. Okay, so we're in Lightburn, and I'm working from my art library. I've been preparing for a big Jeep show, so I've been creating a lot of Jeep projects. And this one is one I'm going to use to create a 3D, not a 3D, so much as a layered uh, piece of artwork. Now, this is one image that I'm going to use. It's the only image I'm going to use, and I'm not even going to use the entire image. I'm going to get rid of my Jeep life. Bring this on our center board here and put it in one of my line modes. So now you can see this is just one simple piece of line art. Now, right now I have everything grouped together. We're going to ungroup it all. And now I have selected just my mountain. Going to offset. We're doing an inward offset, and you can see the offset is the inward line that's not being chased by the ants right now. And <clears throat> that offset is one continuous piece. And here she gets really small and fragile. That's not good. So let's make this offset a little larger. We go to a two millimeter. And that took care of that, but now it's created one over here. So let's go even and here. We don't want those really fragile areas, so two and a half. Okay. I'm thinking I'm liking that pretty good. Um, let's take here, take her on up to three. These smaller pieces I'm not going to use. I'll go in and delete those. <clears throat> but now I'm looking here. I'd like to have that continuous, but let's see. All right, I'm going to go with that. And this is the reason I'm I'm just playing here. There is no set value to what I'm doing. It's And it's going to depend on the artwork that you're using on what amount of offset you can use because you may not have all these really small, tight-fitting areas that you have to be concerned with. Like, I'm not even going to use this piece down here. I'm just going to, I've got it selected, but you can see it's part of the entire offset. So when I select it, I've got to ungroup everything. And now I can come back and just grab that and delete it and look and see if there's any more like that. I actually, because that gets so narrow right there, I'm probably, that right there would snap and break if it would even cut out intact. So I'm going to separate those and possibly keep that piece there. So let's select. Now I'm going to go into node edit. There we go. And I'm going to zoom in here nice and tight. And I'm going to separate these pieces. And I'm going to do that by coming right here to this node. Zoom in here tight so you can see it. And I'm going to hover over it. I got my bullseye, my, my crosshairs, and I'm going to hit the letter B as in Bravo. 
D. Now that changed the answer just a little bit. That broke that node loose from the rest of it. And now I'm going to come to this node right here, crosshairs, and hit the letter B as in Bravo again. And when I do, everything is going to go away. And that's because we've broken those apart. But now if you come back here upstream there, if you will, click on it again, now he brings your nodes back. And these are the two we just broke apart. I'm going to grab one of them, bring it down here and join it, grab it, and join it to that one that just broke apart. Now if I come downstream here to this one, and is that broken? Yep. And for right now, I'm just going to put it there. Zoom out and see what I got here. All right, now that looks better. This, I need to get rid of all of this up here and bring it down there. So I'm going to zoom in here. There are several nodes in here. In fact, instead of trying to mess with all of those up there right now, I'm going to come right here and just put a node in by hitting the letter I as in for insert, India. Insert a node there, and now I'm going to hit that same node without moving my cursor. Just hit the letter B as in Bravo for break. Not sure where that went to or what that's all about, but I come up here to this one. Hit <clears throat> break, and now same process. Grab this one and then break. Hit B for Bravo, break. There we go. Bring that up there. Now, all this other stuff, I can go in and just select it and delete it, I think. Or did I just get rid of some of that stuff up top? Was that still linked? Let's go back and look. Zoom out. Undo. Yeah, where is that tangent taken off to? I don't know. But doesn't matter. We're going to get rid of all that. All right. So, delete. Delete and let's see where okay. All right, that's better. In fact, that long point right there, I can probably trim that up and get rid of a lot of that. And I'm gonna do that by just coming to that node and hovering over that node, hit the letter the letter D and not the delete key. There's a difference uh, when you're in node edit. If you hit the, right now, that entire piece is selected. Uh, zoom out so you can see that entire object is what, and if I hit the letter, if I hit the, the button, delete button, it's going to delete that entire thing. We don't want to do that. So we undo, put that back. But I want to delete this single node. Well, hover over it, get your crosshairs, and hit the letter D on your keyboard. And that will delete that single node. All right? Now, let's see what we're working with down here. All right, that's looking better. Now, I don't really care for how sharp of a point that comes to. So if I come back into the nodes and if I hit hover over that and hit the letter S as in Steve, that just rounds that off a little bit. S is for smooth. Now that doesn't come to as sharp of a point. It'll be more user friendly when we're holding it, touching it, and it won't come to as sharp of a fragile point. All right, so now let's see what we're working with here. All right, I'm gonna smooth these points out as well. Node edit and just hit the letter S. And S. S C 
Okay, I'm happy with that. Now, we had ungrouped that uh, offset layer. Now, or, or now we're going to go in and select all of the offsets. Uh, holding my shift key. Okay, so now that's all of the offset pieces. Let's group those back together. Only because it's going to make it easier to move them around and play with them. We're not going to cut them out as a group because that would generate more waste. But we're going to set that off to the side. Now, that's the size of the piece that's going to fill the frame. That's the size of glass that goes in the frame. I'm going to... Select it, and I'm going to select the artwork. Go up here to my Boolean Assistant tools. And I don't want that. Don't want that. I want that. I'm going to take and draw another frame again. Put in my dimensions 12 by 4. Now I'm going to lock those dimensions, and <clears throat> this piece, this is exactly the same dimensions as, got a selector tool, there we go. This piece is the same as that piece in size, but I need it to be a, a, a fraction smaller, let's say uh, an eighth of an inch. Uh, so what I'm going to do is select this tool. I'm going to keep my aspect ratio locked. And I want to make this thing an eighth of an inch larger all the way around here. So I just come up here to my width and tell it the 12. And then plus 0.125. And with the aspect ratio locked, Actually, no, no, I'm not going to keep it locked because I don't think that's going to be exactly the same. Unlock it, hit tab, come down here to the four, and then plus 0.125. Now, that is going to be an eighth of an inch larger all the way around. See, oh, there it is, four. Okay. Now, if I select that and that, hold the shift key and select and bullseye it. Now, if we zoom in here. You can see that there is a eighth of an inch border all the way around. Now that right there, when I did the Boolean assistant, that created a funky little piece over here on that piece. So ungroup it all. Oh, no, that's not ungroup. Zoom back in. I did. Um, my brain is not working today, folks. All right, there and ungroup until I get just that piece, all right? And now I'm gonna go into the node edit and I'm going to insert a node right here, letter I for insert, there we go. And I'm gonna come back over here to that node that went way over yonder. And those are actually, I think, multiple nodes. And select them both and hit the letter D. Not the button delete, but the letter D. And it takes it in there. I got rid of some of them. There we go. Okay. So uh, I said I was going to cut this out of a, a single piece, 12 by 12 uh, birch. Uh, but I'm also going to be using some scrap. Uh, to cut out this here and probably in a different material uh, to add more definition, more character to the layer. So these two top pieces will be uh, cut out of a single piece of birch, a uh, little eighth inch birch plywood, setting that off the tool bed, set this up, frame it, cut out uh, the two pieces. Now this piece... <clears throat> is the exact actually no you know what i need to i need to weld those two together 
uh, and then I need another. Now that should have a, an overall dimensions of 12 by 4. Uh, so we're going to make this now uh, 12 by 4. All right. And now I need another piece. And it's going to be 12 by 4. All right. Now, the reason I did that is because this piece is going to just be one solid piece that will be cut out and be on the very back, the back layer of this piece. This will cut out and be glued to the front of that. This will be cut out of scrap and then glued on in position uh, on the correct placement of the offset. All right, <clears throat> so let's send this to the laser and uh, see if we can't cut out some art. Okay, so this has been a, a little bit of a cluster because I showed you my process uh, mostly in real time. I'm, uh, I'm not a professional. I'm not an artist. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm figuring it out as I go. But uh, I think this turned out pr pretty nice. Uh, like I said, it's just a, a simple 12 by 12 frame that I picked up actually at a yard sale. Had some nice family photos in it. I threw those away, of course. And there you have a three dimensional. Piece of artwork cut out of one $2 piece of birch plywood and some scrap walnut that was laying on the shop floor. What do you think? I think it turned out pretty nice to use one piece of artwork <clears throat> and generate something out of a $2 piece of uh, birch plywood and a 50 cent frame at a yard sale i'm happy with that i'll put it on my craft show table for you know 25 bucks and see if it gets any attention so as i said watch for the four month review on the x tool coming out as i said i am operating uh i have the 10 watt uh with a fractured focal lens on the laser uh so I might get five watts output uh, and a very broad uh, laser. I don't have a 0.01 kerf any longer, I can tell you that, uh, or 0.08 kerf. Uh, a lot of burn going on. Uh, so uh, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and uh, look for that four-month review on the X tool and some hopefully very exciting news coming with some new lasers and some new equipment in the very, very near future. So this has been Steve, Hobo with Wood. Thanks for watching. Hope you haven't, haven't bored you too much and you take away some good ideas and create some artwork. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Was this a waste of time or did you like how that turned out? This is Steve, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.